Welcome to our Capture 2019 tutorial series. In this episode, we're going to take a closer look at using videos as textures for materials. I have a stage set up with a number of boxes on the left hand side, a video projector and a projection surface in the middle, and some space I've left for LED screens on the right hand side. The first step in bringing video into Capture is to go to the Media tab and create a video player. I'll accept the default suggestions and click to add a video file. In this case, I have an MP4 file I'm going to use for the tutorial. I select Open and click on the Playback button to start playback of the video. Note that it's possible to load multiple videos and switch between them, as well as load images into the video player. This is useful, for instance, to load a blank or black image for a blackout or any other color you need, as well as loading static images that represent the video when you want to make sure that you're visualizing a specific frame of the video. The next step of getting the video into the visualization is by adding a material. So let's go to the design tab and the materials category. I create a new material for the video. Let's call it video. Now, instead of loading a texture image that we did in the previous episode, we're now going to use the texture media property. As I double click here, you see the video player we recently created appear among the choices. I select the video player and the video is now associated with the material. However, in order to not mess up the colors of the video, I'm also going to change the material color to be plain white. The final step now is to drag and drop the video material and apply it to an object. As you can see, the video is now playing back on the surface of one of the boxes. As mentioned and shown in the previous episode, I could now use the luminance property of the material to create the effect of a video surface. I can also apply the video to multiple objects, as well as map the video across all of them in a way that simulates a single video surface. This was shown in the previous episode. So let's take a look at using the built-in LED panels made for the purpose in the Capture Library. Let's go to the Library tab, the Fixtures category. Now I want to use the NX6 panels from Barco, so I will use the search function. I'll drag and drop a single panel into my design. Now at this point, this is just a single panel, so I need to array it up to create a surface. I could use the clone tool for this, but another option is using the quick copy function along with the snapping of the panels. Obviously the clone tool is faster if you need to create a larger amount of panels. So now we have an assembly of LED tiles on the right hand side. Let's select them all so that we can apply the video to all of them at once. And here we have the video playing back on the LED screens or LED panels. Now if we zoom in, we can see that Capture visualizes the pixel pitch and this will look different based on the kind of panel that you've chosen. They are very bright though, and the reason for this is the panels are running on full intensity. This can be adjusted under selected items, where we have an intensity property. Simply drag the slider to a reasonable level for your needs to balance the lighting intensity. Of course, we can use the mapping of material and the map to extends function to spread the entire video over the full LED screen surface. Another good reason to use the built-in panels is that it relies on the pixel pitch of the manufacturer as well as the specified brightness. 
So you are in the lower risk of using a brightness that the panel cannot produce. The last thing I want to show you is how to get that video into the video projector. Let's select the video projector. It's currently projecting a test card on the projection surface. So to get the video in there, we need to locate the media property of the projector, or we can choose the video player. So as you can see, the video is now playing back both as a regular video texture and on LED panels, as well as in the video projector. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching and see you soon again.